Good day, everyone, and welcome to the midweek market update. So, guys, on this session, I'm going to be giving you an update on the pairs that we spoke about on our last session. And I'm also going to be focusing in a new pairs that I'm focusing on for the week. So, without wasting any time, let us get into it. So, as you do know, guys, I think from last week, we've been looking at what this pair, which is what the end New Zealand dollar over this is Frank. So, this one. On the high time frame, we did have this impulsive movement, price gave us this corrective structure, and initially price was around there, and we anticipated for this to do it to impulse all the way to the downside. So as you can see, price did exactly just that. It played out beautifully, we worked out with 12% on this first setup, and then on the second setup, we worked out with that with 4%. As you can see, we worked out with a total of what around, I think, 17% combined on this entire trade gap, which is, which is very, very amazing. So this setup did play out very beautifully. And now if we can go on to our next setup, which is what the euro over the Swiss franc. So this one, as I'm looking at it, this is my impulsive movement on the high time frame. This is my sideways corrective strategy. So I'm anticipating for this video to continue to impulse all the way to the downside side. So guys, on our last session, while I was looking at this pair, I did mention that I'm looking forward for price to give me what a small corrective strategy. So as you can see, Press did give me exactly that. This is my impulsive movement. This is my sideways corrective structure, and it did set what an entry somewhere around the early in the morning on the breakout. And currently, I'm running at 2.67% profit, guys. So I'm anticipating for the situation to continue to drop all the way to the downside. And I've already moved what my stop loss to break even. So I'm waiting to see whether this will do it, whether this will continue to impulse all the way up until it does what it hits my take profit. So that is it on the euro over the Swiss franc. Now my next pair that I'm focusing on is going to be at the Swiss franc over the Japanese yen. So this one, just a simple setup. So this is my impulsive movement. Sideways corrective structure prices already began to impulse all the way to the downside. So coming on to the mid time frame. Let us see how prices you can like. So mid time frame. There's nothing as of yet and on the lower time frame also there's nothing as of yet okay so this one there is a possibility that it might not give me it might not even give me an entry just drops to the downside but what i'm anticipating is just what a simple corrective structure to at least do it to at least ride those cells to the downside something along these lines but for now guys i'm very happy as what with how the market has been moving especially with what the chf so this one is my go-to pair for this week. So I'm mainly focused on this, on managing this trade as it, as it is currently running in, what, in some nice profits. And in the DCHF, we did hit what, we did hit take profit with 18% profit. So the market has been very nice. So I think I'm going to remove this one. The CHF JPY and mainly focus on your CHF for today. But I will hunt for another pair that I might find fits my trading plan for the week. Possibly tomorrow or on our last session on Friday. But for now, my focus is managing this pair very nicely. As, as you can see, it's moving in profits. Stop loss already on break even. So there's no emotions on this trade because I'm in a risk free trade and my previous trade already hit take profit. So, yeah, guys, that's the market update for this midweek. Hopefully, you did learn something from this. So, I'm going to continue to update you if there's any changes happening on this pair. But for now, this is going to be the end. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.